welcome to Soapbox, your weekly source for the juiciest soap gossip. On today's show, we're joined by Hannah, Sarah and Shelby, three soap addicts from Bournemouth University. Thanks so much for being on the show, guys. Hello. Now, this month's seen some utterly breathtaking storylines appear on our screen, and this week has been no exception. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what's been happening on this week's soaps. Sorry for me any time of the day because he was great. Yeah! Mom! I tell you, if I was your son, I'd never forgive you. I'd despise you for the rest of my life. Cars here, we need to go. All right, it'll keep. I'll catch you later. You should steal well clear of him, son. Strikes me as a nasty piece of work. You know what? You deserve this. Sorry, I'm not quite ready for you. It's all right. Didn't expect you would be. It certainly has been an eventful week in Soapland. Right, so let's start off with Hollyoaks. What do we think about Diane falling out the window? Never a deodorant can has caused so much scandal. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is she going to survive? I think it could be two sides of a coin. Either she will survive and uh, support Sinead with the pregnancy, which will leave Steve in a bit of a pickle, considering he's married to John Paul, or Diane will die, Sinead could potentially lose the baby from the stress and Steve might be let off the hook. What are you hoping for? I, I don't know, because I feel sorry for Steve and I go, I'm going to feel really sorry for Sinead if her mum dies. I really don't know which I would prefer. But do Diane and Sinead have a good relationship? It's a little bit rocky, if I'm honest, but deep down they both do love each other a lot. Even on the surface, it's a bit, you know, a bit here than there. Yeah. Well, Shelby's our Hollyoaks expert. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's very Hollyoaks, just to fall out of a window because the deodorant can. Um, I've, like, I have watched a few episodes and the relationship between Diane and... Um, Sinead. Sinead, that's the one. Um, has, been, has been great. And like, I do think uh, it's soap, so she'll probably survive. They and, always survive. Yeah, and <laughs> Sinead will probably get the blame somewhere along the line. Because it's just, it's Holly Oaks. Um, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm not that up to date on Holly Oaks, but having seen that clip, it looks <laughs> quite comical. The way she's just sort of rolled along the deodorant <laughs> and then just smashed through the window. I don't know if that would really happen. <laughs> um, yeah, it's classic, classic Holly Oaks. Well, we've got to talk a bit about uh, John Paul and Harry's storyline. Is it going to be happily ever after for those two? Or is it all going to blow up in flames? I mean, teacher-student relationship. As long as it's kept a secret, it'll be fine. But then, of course, it's Hollyoaks, they'll get found out. Steve will be a little bit annoyed with John Paul. John Paul might get sacked, and who knows what's going to happen to poor Harry. It's going to get into a bit of, a, a bit of trouble at school, Indeed. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> People have an offer the teacher. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's just, it's prime storyline for someone that you can have the massive argument, the massive fallout from having a relationship between a teacher and a student. So yeah, I do think it will come out and will. A lot of drama, a lot yeah. of scandal. It's one of the most scandalous sort of yeah. storylines that you can have for it. Yeah. <laughs> and Tony, it's for you, it's all about the scandal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, well, We've touched on Holly Oates, but we've also got a uh, Coronation Street expert in the house. <laughs> so let's talk about the whole uh, Gavin, Michael, Gail storyline of Gail's wedding day. Is she going to live happily ever after? Will she ever get her happy ending? No, I don't think she's supposed to be happy, really. I think Gail's a bit doomed <laughs> in the love life department. She's not had very, very many successes with her husbands. She got driven into a river by Richard Hill, <laughs> which wasn't wasn't much good luck. <laughs> but no, I think all this um, Gavin storyline is not going to end very well. There's sort of the risk of Michael finding out and then having some kind of heart attack and dying. So it's all, it's all kicking off. I oh know. Poor old Les Dennis. <laughs> I know, yeah. Not in a good way. Come a long way from family fortune. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? I think that, yeah, it's just all going to blow up in the air and poor Gail, she's going to be alone again. You know, with, with David and with, um, you know, just with her family, no husband. Just the old status quo, really. It's a typical Cory thing to do. Classic Cory. Well, just quickly before we uh, move on, we've got to um, talk about the Gail's granddaughter, Bethany Platt, being played by a 19-year-old, but it's actually turned out she's 26. What do you guys think? 
I don't understand how they thought a 19 year old can get away with being 40, let alone the fact that she's now 26. It's kind of a bit controversial because you couldn't imagine that would happen. But it does happen a lot in America, so they can get away with it. Of course. Classic. Of course, you've got to watch out for stuff like that. <laughs> well, it's been a monumental year in soap world, but the, this year's biggest soap story has got to be the Who Killed Lucy Beale plot in EastEnders. So let's take a look at one of the biggest storylines in this year's soap land. Check it out. Lucy. No, no, Lucy, darling. Whatever she says, she started it. She made everyone unhappy. So it's little 11 year old Bobby. What do you guys think of him being the killer all along? Um, I kind of predicted it earlier in the week, but I think it's really clever the way they've done it. Um, just the fact of expecting it to be a 11 year old boy is quite because like, you would always expect it to be an adult, it to be a child. It, it's quite interesting how they can actually explore that later on in the year. Yeah. So you called it in the air, you yeah. thought it was him all along. Yeah. I thought it was Jane. What do you guys think? I, I didn't really know. Um, but I didn't really have a view or a prediction of who it was. I think he said did a very good job of making everyone feel like they should care about it. That's what <laughs> I sort of thought. Like, I think they sort of gave the impression that the whole country was all watching and predicting it. And it made you feel like you had to have a view and you had to care. Um, but no, I didn't put it for me, really. So. See, it was half and half for me. Um, in the first live episode, it sort of like pointed towards Abby and Lauren, but I thought, no, they're a bit too much of a red herring. And in the second episode, I tied everything together. I thought, it's probably Bobby. With how Jane ran away with him to the north, how he, you know, he wouldn't, she wouldn't let him around Ian and all that stuff. You, you had to kind of piece together the things from the 10 month storylines and then work it out. I kind of think it makes it a little bit more innocent as well. In fact, it wasn't just murder out of cold blood, it was essentially an accident the way that I, I felt that they Did you see the menace in his eyes in that yeah. BT though? It's a bit scary. Yeah, just the fact that he hit around the head with a box is. <laughs> yeah. How, yeah. Well, did you guys react when you. Because it was revealed at the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how did you guys react? Were you shocked? Um, yeah, I was shocked that they actually did go through with it because before the episode started I was like oh yeah it's going to be Bobby and they're going to do it and all that and then it actually was Bobby I was like oh they <laughs> actually did it. Well it was around for 10 months such a long storyline did you guys think it was too long or were you hooked for the whole 10 months or did you sort of get a bit bored after a while? I was pretty much hooked for the whole 10 months I mean they didn't mention it every episode it's sort of like peaks and troughs it's sort of they'd mention it for a couple then leave it and then lead to another storyline so it kept me on my toes and with what I just said, you had to kind of piece everything back to what happened in those 10 months to work out that it was actually little Bobby Beale who killed Lucy. What about you guys, were you hooked? I think it was too long. Um, it, got to, it got to like when they did the flashback episode, everything that had happened during the night I'd actually forgotten. So it, it could have been cut down by about five months, I think, and they just had it as a five month storyline. And then everything that happened over New Year was a bit too dramatic because it's like they kind of killed off the actual police officer and then completely forgot about it for the next two months whilst they built up again to reveal the murderer. Yeah? Huh? Yeah, I, I agree. I think it was a bit too long. I sort of um, I sort of watched the the actual um, revelation that she'd been killed and then I thought, I sort of knew the date was going to be February when it was going to be the big reveal. Um, so I thought, oh, I just won't watch it and then I'll come back to it around February just to see what happened. But I couldn't really be doing with watching the whole the whole run of two. Did you think it was good that they did it live? Did you think that went well? Yeah, I really enjoyed the live, the live element of yeah. it. So. And there was the whole the thing where who killed Lucy or you killed Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the, the Adam. Adam. Yeah. 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 Yes, indeed. Well, what's, what's in store for the Beals now? Do you think it's happily ever after? Will they finally get peace? No, I think they've, they've always been a dysfunctional family and that's what's led to Bobby Kill and Lucy. I think they're still going to be a dysfunctional family. It's just, you know, the viewers are a dysfunctional family of the square, that's it. They've got a massive storyline coming up with Kathy returning as well. So 
that's um, more storylines to come. Really. Lots of drama there. What is she, yeah. she going to do there? What, um, is she going to mess up? More crying for Ian? I think so. I think it's going to be more crying because she's been dead for 20 years. So it'd be like, interesting to see how they actually manage to mix that in. I know. And whether actually Lucy will always anything to do with it. Well, plenty of drama in store. All right, guys, it's come to that point in the show where we test your trivia on soap operas. Here are some popular soap title cards for you, and the aim of the game is to match the weird and wonderful storylines to the correct soap. The person with the most correct answers will receive a very special prize. So you guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, let's do it. Okay, so question number one. Which soap featured a murderous husband driving his family into a canal? Popular catchy song, You and Me, by the one one of these. I think Hannah mentioned it earlier. Yeah, Hannah mentioned it. Classic. <laughs> yeah. But an easy one there, we mentioned it earlier in the show. The answer is, of course, Coronation Street, the Richard Hillman saga. Great storyline there. Okay, so question number two. Which soap featured twins discovering they had a daughter together before realising that they were in fact siblings? Oh, 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 no, that, that was definitely this one. Yeah, it was definitely. Definitely that one. Oh, that Hannah's going different. You guys sure? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, well, the answer is... Hollyoaks, sorry, Annie, you're incorrect. It was the Sienna and Dodger story. It was Sienna and Dodger who had an incestuous romp before meeting as siblings. Ooh, very scandalous. <laughs> Question number three. Which soap involved a character tripping and falling into an HIV-infected needle, later turning out to be completely STD-free? I thought that I happened in, like, that. Casualty or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought that happened in I really don't, oh, I really don't know about that one. I'd literally. Um, Sounds Hollyoaks. I'm going to pretend like I think it might be Stembers with Mark Fowler. Why it might be Stembers? Okay, well, the correct answer is Hollyoaks. So you're well, all acting the piece at the moment. It was uh, Lindsay takes a blood test from Sinead who lied about being ill with the disease. Oh, mm. yeah. Question number four. Which soap controversially depicted a character sapping her recent, recently deceased baby for a living one? Swapping, sorry. Um, this was a very famous mm -hmm. storyline yeah. for it. It was very controversial. Wait, was it? Yeah, I think so. You sure? Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie yeah. Mitchell. Okay, well, you were all correct, so we're at three apiece. The correct answer is EastEnders, um, and it was receiving close to 9,000 complaints. Very Ooh. controversial. Ooh. What's the storyline now? I can't exactly remember it. Oh, she just swapped her baby for a, another one. <laughs> it, was, um, it happened for a long time. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Ronnie. Yeah. Oh, that one, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In which fictional village did a pub heist take place? Ooh. There's only one fictional village I know of. I actually don't know. Are you guys sure? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to phone a friend? No. Okay, great. <laughs> it is Emmerdale, of course. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Oh, yeah, Coronations are straight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, oh, finally, on. last question. I think, if my calculation is correct, we are on 443 here. So, which soap spin off featured a lunatic murderer attempt to remove a transplanted liver of someone who had inherited her dead boyfriend's organs through an attempted suicide? That okay. sounds, again, very Hollyoaks. That was yeah, so very Hollyoaks. Yeah, that does sound very Hollyoaks. You sure? Yes. No. Final answer. Yeah. Don't yeah. want a friend. <laughs> the answer can only be Hollyoaks, so you've all, all won there. Uh, and. Uh, Unfortunately, we've got a joint winner here, so sorry, Sarah. But you two, well done to you two, because the prize is an all-expenses-paid trip to Hollyoaks. Better pack some bulletproof gear, as you might be getting into a bit of a pickle if you don't. Well, that's all we've got time for on today's episode of Soapbox. Join us again next week when we'll be discussing all the big storylines from the upcoming episodes, featuring a shock arrival in Emmerdale and a sudden death in Hollyoaks. Thank you so much to my guests. Uh, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you.